much has been made about Brexit and the effects that it will have on the European Union. One America's Jack Posobiec sat down with a Swedish MP to find out more about how the finalization of Brexit could affect Sweden. We're very excited to welcome here to One America News, Matthias Carlson. He's the International Secretary for the Sweden Democrats and Member of Parliament for Sweden. Matthias, thank you very much for coming down with us today. Thank you for having me. We've also been talking, we've talked to the Polish, we've talked to the British, we've talked to the Hungarians recently. I'd like to ask you guys as well, from your perspective, the EU. So Brexit just happened. Where does Sweden stand, or at least your party stand, in terms of EU relations with Sweden? Uh, we want to bring, uh, you know, decision making back to the Swedish population. We want to bring democracy back to the Swedish population, because that is essentially what democracy is about. That the decisions, the power lies with the people. And now we have a system. The, the European Union has been growing so much, grabbing so much power that a lot of people, ordinary people, feel that they can no longer influence their everyday life. And the decisions lies with bureaucrats that, that we can't get out of power. We, can't, we never voted for them, we can't get them out of office. And that's, that's a main concern for many Swedes. Uh, so what we need is a, is a severe reform of the whole European uh, Union and the whole system. And working together with other conservatives and other patriots in Europe, I think that maybe we can have a chance to, to, to actually achieve that in a few years' time. But then the, the, the right, the, the parties to the right, needs to cooperate more closely and, and, and need to form a stronger alliance than we have so far. Well, what I've heard, though, is that they're pushing for more of a economic system, a trade system, travel within Schengen, but the idea that each member state would be able to still retain what you're talking about, sovereignty of their own nation. Yeah, free trade, that's great. Cooperating to, to, to battle, you know, organized crime, cross borders, uh, well, those kind well, of things yes. are, are very good to cooperate uh, around and uh, you, should, you should continue to do so. But doing these kind of things, imposing mass migration on the populations of Europe, uh, having bureaucrats make decisions that influence the life, everyday life of ordinary citizens, that's just the wrong way to go about it. And I think that we, also, we need to really uh, cooperate more closely when it comes to securing the outer borders of the European Union. Uh, These this boats coming from the Mediterranean, nothing has really been done to, to stop that. And we're now relying on Turkey to try to, to safeguard European borders, and that's just a very bad idea. Right. Turkey, of course, has their own interests. Yeah. Matthias Carlson, I want to thank you very much for coming out with us, sitting here with One America News and giving us a perspective on what's going on in Sweden. Hopefully, maybe we'll be able to come there sometime and find out more. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.